How do you feel about tonight? I feel good. It was dope. Um, I'm tired, but chugged some Red Bull and tried to do like that. Oh uh, yeah, get after it. Get after it. Um, what do you think about Defiance? Uh, it was my first time playing for you guys, I guess, and it was fucking dope. The sound was super good. Uh, the crowd was sick. They're super into it. And, yeah, all around it was dope. Totally. Oh yeah. How does this compare to like? Cause you've had a career of this shit, so it's like. What's it like playing a more local, like, underground show? I like shows like this just because it's more, like, personal, I mm -hmm. guess. And, like, you can feel more connection in a room like this as opposed to, like, a festival stage where they're, like, 500 feet away from you. Totally. I like I like playing shows like this. Oh, like, yeah. I started out playing in, like, a 200-cap dive bar in, like, 2008. So it's, like, similar vibe. Totally. Definitely dig it. Oh yeah, what got you into producing and whatnot? Um, I guess taking <laughs> and going to like raves in the early 2000s when I was in high school. Oh yeah, you're just like, I want to be up there. Yeah, and, like, totally. my friend taught me how to DJ and then obviously from there it's like you want to learn more so figured out how to produce. Oh yeah. Sucked at it for like five years. And then, yeah, here we are, I guess. What, what was the difference after five years from sucking to not? I mean, like, when you start out, I think you think that everything you make is good, but it's really bad. Yeah. And once you realize, or once you start thinking that what you're making is bad, I feel like that's when you should start releasing, because that, like, you've reached the point of making decent shit. <laughs> totally. What's, uh, what's something you want to tell everyone watching at home? I don't know, if you're still listening to my music in 2024, thank you and I appreciate you and uh, I'm going to put out a lot of music this year and yeah.